So today I'm going to be going over how to utilize the show 3D widget functionality on vectors and transforms. To start things off, I have three cubes, one, two, three. Each one is going to do different things. I'm going to go ahead and add a variable and I'm going to make this one a transform and I'll set it to instance editable, which is the exact same thing as clicking on this eyeball. And then I'm going to also, this is where the magic happens, set show 3D widget. I'll name it transform. We can go and pop into the world here and you'll see that my actor that I placed in the world has something on it called this transform. And you'll notice there's this weird diamond widget. This is actually a built-in editor widget that Unreal allows you to place. What this is doing is just reading off of your transform value. So you expose this. So now in your details panel, the location, rotation, and scale of that transform can be edited by hand or by this widget, which is super handy for things like this. If we go back into the blueprint, I can go ahead and say in my construction script, let's take Cubo2 and then I'm going to take the transform and I'll say set relative transform and we'll connect that in. Go and connect that to my construction script, compile, and right away you'll see that my cube is now connected to that transform. So wherever I move this transform in this blueprint is wherever the cube is going to go, which is super handy for things like making customizable tools. For instance, a building creator. Haha, -ha, yeah, a lot of my building creator stuff was made with this type of tech. Now the same thing can be done with vectors. So I'll add a vector. I'll go ahead and call it vector. Go ahead and set show 3D widget. And then we will go ahead and I'll bring the vector in and my cube 03. Then I'll set my relative location to the vector. And now right away when I compile, go to save, we now see that vector shows up and my cubo3 is following my vector. Vector you cannot scale or rotate because it is just a location in space. It's the exact same thing in the defaults panel, just shows up as a vector. So from here, you can do some interesting things. I can just go ahead and I can say, okay, let's clamp the vector size. I will only allow this vector to go to a thousand. Now my vector length will always be capped out at a thousand, which makes a, a pretty neat looking follow effect. But you notice that my, my vector itself is not moving with it. And so instead of doing that, I'll break this vector. I will go ahead and I'll clamp the Z value. So if I clamp this guy, min and max of a thousand, and then I will go ahead and set the vector up here, move this guy over, and I will make a vector off this, set the Z value, leave the X and Y value set to zero. So no matter what, every time the construction script runs, it will always be setting that vector's X and Y values to zero, but keeping the Z value and clamping the Z value at a thousand. At the same time, I will set the location of the cube to the new vector. Now you can see I'm unable to move the vector left and right, but I can move it up and down to a certain point, which is really nice for making tools that have limited length. And the bonus tip, this is kind of a, just a neat little thing in general. I can go ahead and delete all of this and I'll set my vector to an array up here. I will go from a single variable to an array. And now this array is gonna be uh, empty by default. There's gonna be no elements in it at all. But I will go ahead and just grab the array. We'll do a for each loop and I will set that in my construction script. From the for each loop, we will just go ahead and add static mesh component. I will set this static mesh component to my cube and I will set the relative location of the cube to whatever that current vector is. And what this is gonna do is allow me to make as many of these vector widgets as I want per blueprint. If I go over in my details panel, right here vector has zero elements. As soon as I add one, you'll see that vector shows up and it's got zero on it. Well, now I also have a cube. As many elements as there are, will add as many cubes as I want and I can move them to wherever I want in this blueprint. This type of stuff is super handy to give the user a lot of functionality for whatever tool you're making. That is how to utilize the show 3D widgets on transforms and vectors.